Hey guys, Norman McGregor on the outside guy for our adventure. All right, it's the 26th of October, Sunday, and uh, winter's coming to Haida Gwaii. So, heat is a big thing on Haida Gwaii. You all know I'm into uh, uh, wood, but uh, sometimes we go away and uh, we want to have the house warm or kept warm even though we're away. So, uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to install this Dimplex heater. This is a 750 watt heater. But the beauty of this, this is a Dimplex heater. And it has ultra high heat and high flow through. So I'm going to show you how easy this is to put in. I've already put one in my living room. I put a 2500 watt in the living room. And uh, this is going in the bedroom. All right, guys, so the first thing you have to do when you're doing any, any electrical project in your house, take the breaker and make sure, oh, well, we got Olivia Newton-John in the back. So we're going to turn the main power breaker off. What that does is that totally disconnects us from the grid. Oh, listen, Olivia's still playing. Why? Because we're on solar. But the solar isn't connected to the grid, it's only on specific plugs, so we're safe. Alright guys, welcome to my bedroom, and this is the wall that I'm going to put it on. This is where, we had an old baseboard heater here, but it was kind of really power sucker. So, I've got my AWG 12 gauge 240 line coming in, and... This is my 240 volt new Dimplex heater going in. Now, as I said before, these heaters kick out a lot of heat. Uh, way more than a, a regular heat. They heat 40% uh, faster and 40% or 60% more efficient than a regular heater. They come with these little feet that mount onto the back of the uh, heater so that it offsets the heater from the wall by one inch which gives it the cooling factor in the back plus it prevents the wall from getting too hot so we're going to take this apart and uh, I need my screwdriver so let me get that apart so basically there's a middle cover an end cover and an end cover so we got the power coming in on this end so this is the end we're going to take off and we need to take this middle cover off because these are where the screws go that connect to the feet that offset it from the wall. Alright, let me get those off. Okay, nice thing, we've got the covers off and they just snap on and the end covers have a little screw that screw into a little slot. So as you see here, it just screws into a little slot. And that keeps the end covers on. Now I don't need to take this end off. Inside the heater there's a thermostat for overheating protection and if it gets too hot it will cut it out. These are super efficient fins. The air comes in the bottom and actually goes straight out the top so uh, there's no binding of airflow so it's a really nice unit. In the end of the unit there's a really simple connection We've got uh, two lines that come in, they're connected by a grommet, so depending on which, which end you do, you undo the, the uh, connector, you split the wire apart, come on, like so, it's hard to do with one hand, I should have done this with before I showed you, but we're doing it live. Okay, so we've got the wire separated. This is your hot. This is your neutral. Okay, so that's how you wire it. And uh, you should have heat. All right, let's get this underway. Okay, guys, so the first thing you want to do is remove the knockout in the bottom. It's a simple process. Flip it up with a screwdriver, knock it out, put that aside. 
and it comes with a plug which you just basically take it and push it right in and that way you just jam your wire through there and that holds it in. Alright guys, then you want to feed your wire through the bottom here, through the connector, okay, and make sure you got enough room so that you can reach the ground screw back here. Move that. There's a ground screw back here. And make sure you got enough cable to reach both of these wires. Then you want to hook the hot uh, to the black and the neutral to the red. So let's go do that. All right, guys, so there we've got, we've got the ground on, we've got the hot line connected and the neutral line connected, and uh, we're ready to connect this to the wall. So I'm going to use the, uh, the little feet over here and uh, the screws, and I'm going to secure it to the wall so that it's got a one inch gap. All right, guys, there's really no easy way of doing this, but this is probably the easiest way that I've found. So what I do is I lay the heater on its face and what I do is I put the screws through the hole and actually screw them to the feet. This way when I stand them up, I don't have to try and fiddle with uh, trying to get them aligned. So now they're all aligned and uh, I'm just going to stand it up and uh, screw it to the wall. Alright guys, so there we are. We're in. We've got a nice gap in between the wall and the heater. And what that's going to do is that's going to direct the heat away from the wall and into the room. Nice, safe, and secure. Big thing you want to do on these. Look, I've got a helper. Who's this? Who's this? Say hello. Hello. Big thing you want to do is the screws, when you tighten them in, back them off a half a turn once you've got them flush. Otherwise, it won't allow the frame to expand and contract. And you'll get noise. It'll go clink, clink, clink. So, read the instructions. That's what it says. And uh, let's put it together and see if it works. All right, power's on. I'm gonna turn the heat up. Clicks in. Set it at 15 degrees. And let's go see. All right, guys. So there we go. The covers are on. The heat's on, and it's got tons of heat coming out of there. Nice. So there's a, a simple, easy install of a Dimplex heater. Alright guys, so I'm in the bedroom and this is where I installed my 2500 watt Dimplex heater yesterday. Uh, we tried this last night uh, just, as a, just as a test because we normally don't run this unless uh, we're going to leave the house for an extended period of time and we make, maybe overnight, maybe we're going to go to the other island or something. And we want to keep the house warm, and obviously the wood stove isn't going to do that, because it needs to be fed. So it's my wood stove. Again, I'm going to do a, a three-year review on this. This is my Drolette uh, wood stove. It's now three years old, and uh, it's been amazing. So I'm going to do a review on that shortly. But uh, the wood stove, we this is primarily what we use 99.9% .9 of the time to heat our house. But for that odd occasion, when you need a backup, okay, having an electric uh, baseboard heater in a couple of rooms will uh, save your house from uh, getting way too cold. Alright guys, so why would you choose a product like a Dimplex heater? Well, the Dimplex is a straight flow through. It, uh, the air goes in the bottom and straight out the top. So the air has a nice, really smooth flow, and you can move a lot of air with that kind of configuration. A standard baseboard heater has to go through like almost a U, so nowhere near as efficient. These heaters are claimed to be 40% more efficient and heat your house 60% faster. And yesterday after I installed the 2500 watt in, I actually gave it a test. We ran it for 24 hours, did a measurement, it used six just over six kilowatts of power our standard baseboard heater would use well over 10 so the 40 percent claim is accurate uh, we noticed that within very very short time of turning the heat on uh, the house was quite warm so i had to turn it down so i would pretty much vouch for the 60 percent faster heating of the house save money 
faster heating, better comfort. The Dimplex product is an awesome thing. It's at Home Depot. This was $37 for the 750 watt. It was uh, $74 for the 25 watt, for a 2500 watt. So for around 100 bucks, I got two really nice baseboard heaters that are going to save me well over that in the cost of electricity. So do your research, check out the products. Uh, I got this at Home Depot and they shipped it here for free. How even bonus. So take a look at energy efficient products if you have to go with baseboard heatings. They'll save you a lot of money. Okay guys, I'm McGregor on Niles Hideaway for On the Venture. Take care.